Hello, hello. Apparently I am live in my new place. <laughs> Hi, Maria and Cynthia and Jeanette. Yo, New York is in the house. Jersey over here. I feel like I could just reach, reach New York. Uh, I'm sorry to hear about your mom. Definitely be praying for her. Oh, boy. Well, hospice is um, a really great organization. It's great when you can access that to help you. Hopefully, um, everything is good with my volume. I uh, The other night when I did a quick video, it was nighttime already here in Jersey. And so the lighting situation wasn't at the forefront of my mind tonight. And... Um, Anyway, Joan and I were just cracking up because, I, you know, I'm like, oh, my gosh, I I still don't have like a I'm sitting on a bar stool that my my girlfriend put into the apartment, but I don't have um, I don't have a chair to sit in. And so I'm like, well, this is where I'm at. I'm at the bar. <laughs> Not literally, but uh, so we'll do the best with the lighting. The lighting looked really good with the overhead. And in the end, that's all that matters. Ah, thanks, Christy. I did find a little light, one of those little, you know, magical lights. But anyway, um, I missed you guys. I feel like I haven't been here all month. Has it been all month? Because I don't know if I was here uh, for the first Thursday. Or, no, Joan's in the background going, no, girl. It was me. <laughs> She's got her hands up in the background, you know. Um, so thank you, Joan. Thank you for stepping in and making your big hair even bigger and and uh, sharing the Silver Silk Love. My gosh, those were great, great projects. And we um, love Neele and we love his product. And I cannot wait to get my care package with the three needle um chain that he came out with because not only obviously did it work really well on the silver silk loom but i definitely want to try it out on one of the other wood looms and i'm sure it would work on the original jewel loom as well so super excited about that and so joan loved your projects they were phenomenal total total wins yes and i love that she broke out the little silver silk um necklace kit. That was really a lot of fun. You are very ambitious <laughs> to try and put those seed beads on. I was cracking up. I was like, is she seriously going to try and weave in seed beads to that wide area? And sure enough, she did. So great job. Great, great job. Leanne, I see you. I do believe I don't, I can't look at my phone, but um, if I'm not, I got you. Um, Anissa, hello, 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 everybody. Hey, Kara just posted, Kara um, from Arizona just posted a pair of earrings that she made on her Instagram. Sweet. Like they're so, so hot. You have to go check them out. And I do believe it's just under her name, Kara Simmons. We can check that out and let you know, but those are so good. Yeah. Well, my new background is very, <laughs> there's y'all, we just landed. Okay. Like I know I didn't talk much about this change, but, and it happened very, very, very quick. Um, you know, I was in California, have been in California for the last nine or 10 years. And um, prior to that lived here in New Jersey for 14 years raised my son here. And, um, and so I have been, had been at my mom's house. I think you all knew that for the last three years since COVID and some other life events, but, uh, I just, I needed space. I needed space. And throughout the country, um, California in particular, you know, um, homes are just, it's crazy crazy residential commercial every you know it's just it's just crazy and i had been preying on it and um it just made sense like well why don't you just try to go back to jersey where your kid is 
and you know see how that works even though it's expensive here too but literally by the grace of god i um i was looking online one day and looked in this little town and this adorable little apartment for you know a, a price where it would allow brando and i to still eat <laughs> um popped up and i kept thinking, oh, it must be off market. It must be off market. And it wasn't. And so I immediately called um, and texted the, uh, uh, you call it, the realtor. And, uh, and it was still for rent. And so it's a rental and it's an adorable one bedroom. I have a bedroom. And the really cool thing is that my girlfriend, one of my Jersey girls, she was living on the top floor, on the third floor, right above me. And they bought a building that they were going to be moving into that they have been renovating. And so all the things that she didn't want to keep, she literally put down here. So when I arrived, it's like, I feel like I've come to an Airbnb so a bed and an armoire and this amazing piece behind me and you know the funny thing is i slept on this couch once <laughs> at her house and so you know i'm just um it's all furnished by her i mean god bless you jackie i just i love her so jackie is also the person that did my hair when i was here in jersey so um so i'm super stoked but i'm so grateful for that and and yeah, and so gradually I'm buying things because I, you know how much stuff, I like, I don't have pots and pans. I don't have, I mean, Jackie gave me silverware. She gave me plates. She gave me bowls. Um, I had brought coffee cups. I had to get a coffee maker. <laughs> I still don't have a pot to boil water or a strainer. It's like my, you know, everyone keeps asking me like, did you make a list? Did you make a list of what you need? And I'm going to do that this weekend. You know, like you need like foil. I don't have foil. I don't have saran wrap. <laughs> I don't have a broom, <laughs> you know, and it's so funny, like all of the things that um, that you need when when you move. So I chose not to to do a pod or anything. Um, I shipped all of the business stuff. I think it was like 41 or 42 boxes for the business. And then I literally put everything else was in the car. I didn't have a trailer. I didn't have a thing on the roof. It was me, Josh, my son, um, and Marlon Brando all in my uh, little baby SUV, MDX. And I don't know if you heard, but we broke down in outside of Armarillo. And um, that was insane, scariest thing ever. So the lights started coming on uh, to check my some system. And and then all of a sudden on the 40 flipping east, the car starts jerking back and forth. It's I've actually been afraid to drive. <laughs> I, I'm getting I'm getting over it, but it was very traumatic. So we pull out, you know, we limp over to the side of the 40 east truckers. I swear to you not if every truck driver in the world. <laughs> must go up and down the 40. Um, and so anyway, long story short, I, I called 911 and just said, hey, this is not an emergency, but this is what's happening. I don't know what to do because we're like out in the middle of nowhere. And um, she was so precious. She kept telling me that she was going to send a deputy to come check on us, gave me the tow truck numbers. Uh, Joshua took care of all of that. He was amazing. He's such a rock star. And um and so she kept telling me how the deputy wasn't going to be able to sit with us. And, you know, it was just all such divine, you know, uh, and this, this deputy shows up and, uh, and he literally sat with us and we got to sit in his patrol car in his truck until, until the uh, tow guy showed up and, it just really was so surreal and he was so precious and um yeah so that was vega vega texas and 
the cute thing was that the other two deputies, so he was the only one that night working. The other two were at the cow festival <laughs> going on in Vega. And I was just like, this can't be any cuter. Like, what do you mean the cow festival? So like, I totally want to go next year. Cause I'm just like, I'm, this is kind of cute and, and interesting, you know? So anyway, so we got, we made it to Amarillo on the tow truck and uh, Josh had secured a, a suite at the embassy and we ended up hanging out there for a few days while the car got fixed. And I was really bummed because we were supposed to stop and see Robert and Karen in Missouri, but Joshua had to get back to work. He had been out in LA and New Mexico prior to that and actually um, had ground, what do you call them? Floor seats, like 21 back from the stage for Taylor Swift. So him and Julie were rocking out and I, I picked him up in LA. So anyway, it was just so, so amazing. And it's always so great to have your kid with you. And thank God, I mean, seriously, thank God he was with me. Um, to help with Marlon Brando, to help with the breakdown, to just, he secured like all the rooms along the way. I didn't have to think about that. And it was just really precious. So I love you, Josh. Thank you for being with your mama. But anyway, so it's taken a hot minute to um, get unpacked and to, to just <laughs> figure out where I'm at. And I'm calling this my artist retreat. It's like adult camp. I um, have not you know, lived alone for quite a while. And so uh, it's, it's, I'm really excited about the opportunity to just think and to design and, uh, you know, to just really think about where Jewel Loom is going, where Jules is going. You know, again, I have no idea what kind of a conversation we'll be having a year from now, but uh, for now I'm in South Jersey and we're just going to enjoy every minute of it. So and was the deputy single? <laughs> okay. I'm pretty sure he was, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure the man had like five kids and the youngest one I think was five. Um, so, but he was a total sweetheart and, and that's fine. Like I'm not opposed to children at all. Uh, although that would be, a, <laughs> that would be a big undertaking. <laughs> But I do have my dog. So, yeah, he was handsome and he was a sweetheart. But, um, you know, we just we talked a lot about different things. And Marlon Brando and I sat in the back of the of the car of the police car. And I was just like, you know, I've never been in the back seat of, of a police car. So I'm glad I wasn't being, you know, in the back of the car for, you know, other reasons than just staying safe. So anyway, I um, I'm so grateful you're here again. I'm grateful for uh, Joan stepping in and being Jules, and I just I love that. And uh, I had a lot of fun. I was just like, as I'm putting things away, I started looking at all the two hole beads, and I was like, you know, I haven't done anything with that in a while, and um, I just really was inspired by the fall colors. And of course, you know, I'm here and. Uh, you know, that we're going to have like that transition of color coming right now. Everything is still green. It's still extremely hot next week. It's supposed to be very hot. Um, we're, we're doing three walks a day, if not four. So it's an apartment. It does have a deck, but the deck is like on, uh, I have to go out. And so we're doing 21 steps <laughs> down and up at least three times a day. Needless to say, my pants are not going to get tight, <laughs> which is a good thing. I'm totally, I'm totally having fun walking. I'm, I'm in the city. And so it's like being in a tiny baby little New York. So, uh, all the restaurants and the, oh my gosh, the people here have just been unbelievably kind. And in fact, Lori, from Jersey, right? Yeah, Lori um, was telling me that she actually goes to one of the restaurants that I'm by. So we're hoping to hook up at some point. I know that there's a lot of East Coast people that are um, that are jewel loomers, and so I'm excited to see see how we can all get uh, uh, together at some point. I will be going into New York um, in October, 
So I'm real excited about that. I've not been into the city. Uh, gosh, I think I did come back for a show in the last nine years, but definitely, you know, it's, it's been a long time. So I'm super excited to go into New York and, and, uh, hopefully see some of you. And I know a lot, a lot of you are up in Northern New Jersey. So Mel says, I really need to get back to beating. Oh, honey. Okay. Well, you're a phenomenal designer. So just remember that. And we all have to take breaks. So when you are ready, you will pick up whatever speaks to you and, uh, and get to designing again. So, oh, and Leanne, you are on the East coast. Okay. Awesome. Lori, there you are. <laughs> so yeah, so we have, yeah, Carmen, I know you're in North, Northern Jersey. So yeah, we'll have to figure, have to figure out a spot. Let's see. We're flying to Sarah Cruz, Sarah Cuse. Okay. Syracuse. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. East coast is great. Like when I moved here back in 2000, um, ironically enough, we had just moved here right before 9 11. I mean, we were barely in our home. And, um, so, so Jersey, the East coast has always had a really special place in my heart, not only because my son stayed here, but when we came out here as a family, um, we went through 9 11 with this entire community and the coastal or coastal, the, well, yeah, the East coast, you know, um, so, so there's always been a very, uh, big, big spot in my heart for, for the East coast. Yes. I didn't personally know Wendy, but, um, very, you know, it's been, it's been a week. And so I want to honor everybody's feelings about that. You know, Wendy, um, uh, Whitman passed away. I didn't, no, no, her. And I know that she, from what I'm reading, she was a huge, beautiful, um, light within the jewelry community. And I know many of you are grieving. And so I want to honor that. I know that there's, um, also a lot of emotion and feeling about Tierra cast, uh, changing, well, not just changing direction, but you know, they're closing, I'm a little in shock because I was just getting to the point where I wanted to really work with them and develop some things for the jewel loom. And so I'm just like, ah, oh, crap, you know, so I'm still praying that something comes together for them. You never know. Something could shift there, but, um, yeah, yes, we were just, yeah, we were just talking about that. So anyway, and, and Melanie, no, you don't give up and, and, uh, you know, I'll reflect back on to 9-11 because I had just moved here and uh, I remember I was also just in talks with my partner. We were, we were starting, we were starting the talks about jewel craft. I don't know if you all remember jewel craft, but that was one of my businesses and my silent partner and I had just started talking about that. He was a New Yorker and I, um, I just remember talking to him thinking, oh, you know, like this is not going to happen now, but he was like the opposite, you know, and then he helped me to see like all of those souls, right. Who, boy, that's very emotional. I had no idea. Okay. Uh, so all of those souls that day, they didn't, you know, they didn't perish for no reason. Right. So, so Melanie, yes. If Wendy told you, don't you ever give up, don't you ever give up. Okay. And those people that lost their lives on nine 11, that's why I keep going, keep going. Right. We do it. We just do life. And I know things are interesting. <laughs> That's putting it mildly, but we just do life and we love and we give and we do our best. We just do our best. So Mel, you take the time you need. All right, honey. Cause we love you. We love your work. We know where your heart is. And then you come back when you're ready. Okay. Love. All right. Rhonda, I've been living on the E. Whoa, where'd you go? But you're a born in Santa Cruz. Yeah. I'm a California girl too. So is stockpile the tear cast. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to look and see what I can't uh, get. And so travel across the country multiple times, broke down in Arizona. Yeah, it's quite a haul, 2,800 miles. 2,800 miles. And I drove them all, not because my son didn't offer to drive, but I needed... I needed that consistency to keep my mind focused and to not become overwhelmed with the change. So God bless him. He was like so patient with me. Um, but I love driving. Uh, so I do need to get over this kind of like tra trauma of the car breaking down because it's all fine now. It's all fine now. So, okay. Um, let's go ahead and get to it because I talked a little bit more than I wanted to. Those of you uh, joining us, uh, we're going to tag it to where you can just get into the demo. So if you don't want to listen to all the blah, 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 you don't have to. But I haven't seen everybody in so long. And so I wanted to just definitely make sure to catch up. So listen, um, this is the bracelet that I made first. All right. And I just want to see... You're going to have to bear with, with the technical stuff because, of course, I'm just getting back after a month. There we go. Okay. So uh, this is the fall arrangement bracelet that I made the uh, that first, first night, just a couple nights ago. And I went with a bunch of different colors that I had, um, put some kits together, and holy cow, they all sold out. Um, what we are on right now, there's five kits left. And there have been four versions, absolutely mostly the same. I've just had to change out a bead here or there. But what I want to talk to you about too is sizing. So as you know, I'm I've got that six inch, six inch wrist. I felt like when I got done with this, it was two rows too long. Okay. So if I minus those 10 beads and these are all my leftover beads okay i can make another 10 rows so i did some math the other day and i'm just going to try to adjust the camera here again just bear with me as i kind of get my groove on with this new setup so i think it was was it Barbara and I, somebody and I were doing math and with the, with the leftover beads and taking away the two rows that were too big for a six inch wrist, it did appear that you could definitely make up to a nine that it might be nine inches might be pushing it just a hair, but I do believe for the most part, you could do eight and a half. And then remember, we always gain um, space with our closure. So I just kind of wanted to throw that out there. The other thing too, is that when I got done with mine, and this is kind of funny, I didn't realize that I, I didn't utilize the gold as much as I wanted to. And so this bracelet that I'm going to be doing next, I'm definitely going to use more gold. Um, I, you know, I did kind of have like a pattern, I guess you could say, and I could take a still shot of this so that it's up on the website and you can really see, um, you know, what I did to lay it out. But I utilized the six millimeter fire polish. Again, I'm going to have to see what's going on here. Let me pull this out. I wonder if I shouldn't. Let's see. Okay. So, you know, I have a row of the six millimeter squares. And then I go into some fire polish and um, Maria saying, you really want me to graduate to two whole beads. I can't believe you don't do that. <laughs> yes, Maria, come over to the dark side. But um, yeah. Okay. So let's get started because I miss you and I'll talk too much. Okay. So I have the jewel loom. You know what I think it might be too? Let me see. Let me see if I, whoa. when you're so used to everything and then I forgot that I needed to kind of like play around before I went live. So forgive me. The cool thing is that it's a really nice close shot. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to be working from one of the new kits 
These are the last five, by the way. So you still have you still have your big ginormous. This button is to die for. By the way, it's made out of wood. So if you wanted to scuff it up with some sandpaper and then um, uh, paint it, you could do that. But I think it's really sexy with the black. And then you have your three yards of your five millimeter hemp cord, which I usually like to go with a one millimeter hemp when I'm doing these bracelets, but it, it does take a little bit more maneuvering when you do that. So I just did the five, but know that you could do the one, you just have to go a little slower. Okay. So I'm going to put that to the side. And then these are the strands that are coming in the kit. And then there are some copper color five millimeter that I stuck, I found, and I put into the kit. There's 20, 20 or 10, one, two, three, four, five. There's 10, 10 or 20. I don't know what I did <laughs> anyway. So you're getting an extra strand of the two of the six millimeter, but there's still some six millimeter fire polish. So anyway, it's still beautiful. And there are there are five left. So, okay. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to bring my gold over here. This gold strand is gorgeous. And this is, some of you have a darker peacock um, green. Most of you have a darker. This lighter one is in some of the, I think it's in version I don't know. I was just like making new ones all night long last night. So again, all of the things that I always say to have prepared prior to going live and look at me. So just forgiveness, give me some forgiveness and some grace tonight as I get back into the groove. So it's just so pretty. I love the Indian um, sapphire that comes with the kit. Whoop, and I just lost a bead. <laughs> All righty. And yep. And then the fern. So we have the fern. These are all just so beautiful. Actually, it's kind of fun because you're seeing how gorgeous everything is as I'm taking it off the strand. Hi, Nancy. I got your message. Thank you so much. And I'm just going to go ahead and bring over the original six millimeter fire polish. Again, if you buy one of the last five kits, your kit may be um, a little different, but still beautiful. It's mostly all this gorgeousness here. All right. And I'm going to get this out of the way. And so if I'm not mistaken, I'm going to do that. Okay. So this is the top of my loom and down here, where's my finger pointing this way is my body. And so, um, and so I've done one, two, three, four, five, six warps because I'm going to be going five across. All right. And if you're not familiar with warping your loom, I did ask Joan to find, um, a video that she could tag that would show you how to warp your loom. And I'm working with a very big piece of wildfire and I'm using the green, of course. All right. Now where in the world did my needle go? Jeez. <laughs> yeah, you could tell someone's been gone. Someone has been, okay, there we go. Um, thank you, Leanne. Yes, you're going to skip. You're going to skip one, two, three, four. So skip four groups. Okay. And yeah, this piece of wildfire is like super long and I just got a knot. So hold on. Oh my gosh. I'm like a rookie tonight. There we go. That's okay though. All right. So I've got the end of my wildfire and I'm just going to tie it 
they got to have my glasses on because then we'd really be in bad shape. So I'm just going to do one little knot there. And I'm going to bring everything over to the left side. And I'm going to bring the um, needle and thread under the warp. So I am under the warps right now with my needle and my thread. Okay. And originally I had started with a row of two millimeter, but this time I'm going to start with a row of just some six millimeter fire polish. So I'm picking up five. And I do see that that's off camera. I apologize. I'm not sure how to get everybody. I kind of like the fact that we're really close. Usually I don't get this close. So maybe this is better. People are always asking me to get a little tighter. So maybe this will make some folks happy. And then I'm going to take the needle and thread. And I'm just going back through that uh, hole. And then I'm going to pull. Because I am working with a lot of the wildfire, I'm just being very careful not to um, go too fast. And then I'm just going to give it a nice little tug. And I'm going to go back through that row. And my needle's going to be on the bottom this time. And I'm going to have to turn myself, so bear with me. So I try to stay under at least the first one and the last one. This just kind of anchors it a little bit more. And if you weren't underneath, all of your beads are going to fall off. So hopefully, hopefully I was underneath and it looks like I was. <laughs> and then I'm going to go back through the top. So it's kind of just like a extra little security blanket to keep that first row nice and tight. Okay. Yay. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up my first row of the two, um, two hole, uh, six millimeter. And let me see, I'm trying to think, let me bring this guy in here. I can kind of see. Um, so yeah. Okay. So I'm going to pick up I'm going to pick up one of these travertines. I'm going through one of the um, one of the holes, and then I'm going to pick up. I'm going to pick up a fern, and then I'm going to pick up a peacock, and then I'm going to pick up another fern, and then I'll pick up another travertine. Okay, so the needle. Let me just bring that into the camera. The needle has gone through uh, just one of the holes, the top hole on the two hole bead. All right. And then we're just going to let those fall. And again, let me get my hand out of the way. I'm just going to guide the wildfire. And just like if these were seed beads, Maria, we're going to let them come under the warps, all right? And then we're gonna take our pointer, that this is my fancy tool, my pointer, and we're gonna let them lay on my pointer and we're gonna pop them up in between the warps just like we would if they were seed beads. And then we're gonna go back through that hole, that top hole, making sure that we're gliding on top of the warps just like we would if they were a single hole bead. Okay, so we're going to bring that all the way through. So now one hole of the two hole beads are secure. And we're going to give that a nice little tug. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my finger and I pop those beads down. All right, let me bring that up to the camera. So you can see that their little bottoms, that bottom hole is now under the warps. And this is still my left hand holding the needle. And now the holes are under the warps. So I'm going to take the needle and I'm going to go through the bottom hole. 
And I'll do a little wiggle wiggle here so you can see. So the needle is through the bottom hole and I'm gonna wiggle so that you can hopefully understand and I'm gonna turn, okay? And then I'm gonna pull through I'm just pulling the wildfire and then I'm going to use that pointer again and pop those back up and now the needle's going to go through the bottom hole on the top so if you can just kind of visualize like for giggles maybe this is two rows of seed beads if that helps you to kind of digest the, the concept, Anissa and Maria. Okay, and then I'm gonna pull it through. And now my first row of two whole beads are secure on the bracelet. Let me get a good shot here. There we go. All right. So now we're going to pick up our next row and we'll do the Indian. Come on, buddy. Get the Indian blue sapphire. We're going to get a gold. Ooh, yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, then we're going to get the gold. Now, how? which way would I? Oh, here we go. That's better. And let me see if that's what's making that. I'm going to take that off for a second. Because we're not looking at me. Okay. <laughs> um, where was I at? Okay, so we have an Indian blue, a gold. Um, we have, this time I think I want to do one of these guys. So I'm mixing up my pattern a little bit. Sometimes you gotta, there we go. I'm gonna pick that up and then I'm gonna pick up another gold and then another Indian. Now, this is just something that I'm doing. You in no way, shape or form have to follow my, my pattern, my direction. Um, you can, oh, look at who messed up. I didn't go underneath the warps. That's okay. It's all saved. Ooh, that's super pretty. Super, super pretty. If you, um, did the, gosh, was it one of the very first creative soul courses was a big old honking uh, bracelet like this, but I think we went six across. And if you did do that, you could follow that pattern to do this bracelet as well. Oh, and then you know what the Mexican tile, the Spanish tiles, that, that you could also kind of follow that. Or you just do what you want to do. Hey, and listen, you know what's really fun? Two three millimeter fire polish beads would fit next to one of these six millimeters on the, um, like you could do four or you could do like a row. So you could use some three millimeter fire polish and that would be a lot of fun. In fact, I was going to work on another design and use some of those. Okay. Oh, that's super pretty. All right. So then I'm going to do this row again. So I'll go back to my travertine and then a fern and a peacock and another fern and a travertine. Okay. And then we're going to let those fall. And again, we're going to pop them up. Take the needle and thread, and I'm going back through the top hole. Oh, 
Ooh, this one's really going to be, it's actually going to be a little lighter. Again, this is one of the last five kits that I'm, these beads are from. And I'm loving it. I like the lightness too. So, what? oh, I totally missed two whole beads. Okay, a little wiggle wiggle. Should have got the odd light out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to train myself all over again. And I'm just making sure that I'm going on top of the warps. You don't know, want to make sure you're not going through that hemp. And you could see just periodically I go back and I just make sure that everything is uh, lined up. So... Okay, so now if I wanted to, I could do another row of the six millimeter fire polish, or I could do like a whole different row of some of some six millimeter. And I'm just thinking, 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 thinking. Okay, so let's see. And again, if you have some three millimeter fire polish, throw those in. I think that would look really great. Uh, f uh, five millimeter hemp cord. Yep. And it comes in the kit, Maria. So now these fire polish I'm using are the fire polish that came with the first, I think, round one and two and three. And then it was this last batch that have kind of like more of a coppery, but it's all gorgeous. I stink and love this. This is so pretty. A lot of contrast. Okay, so now let's see, what are we going to do? We're going to... So my whole intention was to get some more gold in here. So let's, let's pick up a gold. And I mean, what you could do is just keep repeating that pattern, but I kind of want to mix it up a little. So I'm going to go gold. Um, I'm going to go gold travertine. Wait a minute. What am I going to do? I'm going to do, no, I want that on my second row. Okay. Okay. We're going to go <laughs> travertine. <laughs> And then we're back to, okay, we're back to Fern. And then we're going to do a gold. And then back to Fern. And back to Travertine. So we're going to pop those up into the little warps and the needle once again. It, it's a big project, but yet once you get your rhythm going, they really come together very quickly. What's the difference when you use one millimeter hemp is that it's a lot, it's a lot more time consuming and work to get over the one millimeter and through the holes on the two hole beads but it's phenomenal and I love the way that they feel and look. Um, it just takes a little more time. Okay. <laughs> Got a hold of my... And I'm just making sure that they're nice and yeah, it's super gorgeous in person right now. This is really. Okay, and then the next row, let's see, what am I going to do here? On the next one, the next one's going to be the blue. And then I'm going to do the green peacock. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> I 
and then I'm going to do, I'm going to do a gold. Okay. This is what I was, I was like laying in bed last night thinking about placement on how I wanted these things. Okay. And then we'll add those. Um, for both, because I like how they kind of break up the monotony of having to stay focused on the two holes. So I just like to add the fire polish to, um, to add a different dimension, to take up space, to act as like a design block, you know, like a color, like when you do color blocking. So they just, they're kind of fun. And, you know, they just kind of give you like a little, a different look. But today I was like, also like, oh my God, the three hole or the three hole, oh Lord, that'd be fun. The um, three millimeter fire polish. Um, hello, please tell me you have a hole. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so. so pretty i'm loving the the color the ferns are really really pretty Wait a minute. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Am I picking up the right thing? Yeah. So again, just taking that needle, gliding through the top hole and over the warps and all the way out. Hey, Patty. So Patty and I are hopefully gonna get on a, a Zoom here next week and talk about how she was able to warp the large wisdom warrior from the front to the back. Um, Cause I've got people asking and she took it upon herself and did a really great job. And so hopefully we'll be able to do that next week sometime. It'll be a lot of fun. This one's almost looking like a trellis with the with the contrast in the colors. So, you know, sometimes just having this nice little break of just doing a row of a single hole bead is kind of nice. <laughs> okay, so we gotta go up. There we go. Isn't that pretty? It looks like stained glass and a trellis and a lot of really pretty things. Very cool. Okay. So, so at this point, um, you know, this could be your block of a pattern, you know, and you could certainly mix it up. So let me, let me go back. 
And let's see what we got here. We've got the travertine. And this time I think I want to use, I'm going to switch it out a little to the shinier green because that's super pretty. And a travertine. So it's always a good idea too to take all of your beads and kind of lay them out and you know make sure that you're going to have you know enough based on the pattern that might be in your head um you know you want to make sure that it's actually going to work and that you have enough of the different colors okay little buddy where are you at? <laughs> I see you. My goodness. Okay, so that's weird. I'm going to just go in at an angle here. So hold on. I'm trying to see what's happening. goodness this is the funniest thing come on tell me that there's i see the hole when let me see what's going on here oh maybe we got a piece of glass stuck hold on let's see oh yeah there we go okay sometimes that might happen you all so if you, you see that there's a hole and yet it's not going through, you might just very carefully take your needle and clean out the uh, clean out the hole. <laughs> what in the the Jimmy Neeps is happening? I think I'm losing lighting. Come on, buddy. Okay, so these little guys are being a little pesky. What's going on? Did I get you all? I did. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, this is really pretty. I'm, I'm loving this color combination just as much as the first... <laughs> okay so then yeah so we'll go back to the indian sapphire and the gold and um oh okay so we did flashy there so i guess we'll come over here and do this and some more gold and another travertine it's five oh no it should have been a blue hold on hold on <laughs> take that off Supposed to be blue. And not that it would have been the end of the world, but you know, it looks like a mosaic. Yeah. Yeah. This color combination is really different than the, you know, it's, it's like it, but it's funny how it's kind of more glassy, I guess. A little more glass, shiny. Yeah, Maria, you are the seed bead queen over there. All of your beautiful patterns that you're always doing. Okay. 
And so then I'm going to do one more row here. And that'll be, let's see, another travertine. And let's see, are we doing, yeah, we're still on the shiny guys. Okay, so we're going to do this one. And a peacock. And shiny and a travertine. Okay. Yeah, it does, doesn't it, Rana? <laughs> I'm going to go through here. So again, just to remind everybody that uh, these last five kits are a little there. They have a lot of these colors, mostly these colors, um, but the six millimeter polish bead is a copper. And I gave you an extra strand of, um, of the square bead because you're only getting, I think it's like, 10 or 20 fire polish. So it's a little bit different just to keep in mind, but it's all this beautifulness. And then another quick row of fire polish. And again, if you had three millimeter, it could be a row of three millimeter too. That'd be really fun. So I'm going to pop these up. So, yeah, so that's, I mean, that's super cool. I'm, I'm happy that I use more gold. So super pretty. Okay. So I'm going to, Joan, do you want to bring me back up? Joan. Oh. <laughs> Oh, the lighting's so much more better now. <laughs> awesome. So, yeah, so um, the way that I ended the bracelet was just our typical, you know, tying of the knots. And then, uh, again, because it's a five millimeter hemp, I, I like to wrap the ends with the wire. Just the five... The 0.5, I shouldn't be saying five millimeter. The 0.5 is more squirrely where the one millimeter is more thick. And so, you know, the ends are just like on the five, they're just a little bit more dancey. So, and then I just added the button and I think that we've got um, a close up on that, but yeah. So I hope you love your kits. Let's see, were there any questions that I missed or... Joan, did you want to um, come on and tell me anything? There's nothing to say. <laughs> you got all the questions. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, it looks like um, getting excited about next week's show. I can't wait for that one. Is what that going to be on Thursday? Wait, Patty? What? Patty, when Patty's going to be on for, with you. Oh, well, Patty and I are going to do a Zoom. Oh, okay. About, yeah, to talk about what she did. Oh, I see what you're saying. I thought it was a show. Yeah, why wouldn't we just do that? Okay, but Patty and I need to talk about what that looks like. Right. <laughs> and so just since, our, <laughs> since our production manager, Joan... <laughs> the shots. Boy, I hate this angle. What angle? Well, my camera's, you know, I got a different setup today, too. <laughs> yeah. So it looks like yeah. I'm looking down when I'm not. It's just the camera's way up high. 
<laughs> Otherwise, if I didn't do that, you'd be looking at my chest. Uh, uh, from the person who like I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not saying anything else. <laughs> awesome while I was gone. Are you kidding? Like, so, she, she, yeah, she like brought it home. Brought it home. Oh my gosh. Oh. Hey, listen, if there's anything that you didn't understand about making this bracelet, let me know. But Joan, don't we have, um, uh, like, I'm pretty sure the, the how to use your original jewel loom takes you through the closure part. I could post those too. I'll put those in the blog because um, um, actually Jules has a whole series, you know, step by step broken down to several um, things about how to put in your rod, yeah. how to warp it, you know, how to make something on it. Yeah. And, then, the um, and then also, so I'll see if that's the button ones in that one because yeah. I could just put it in the playlist. Yeah. The original Jewel Loom, how do you, yeah. Because it was that original one that I was looking at that you right. you know you had it broken down to little videos, right? That right. original one you made. I couldn't find the second one you made like last year or something. I you know what we've done so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we've done so much. I think there's like 250 videos, but then I'll go look at another channel that's got like 2,000. Yeah, but you got to look how long they've been on. And then some of those do like three to five shows a week, too. Yeah. Yeah. No, they've been on a lot longer than. Yeah. No, we've done Amber and Trisha and yourself and myself. <laughs> poured a lot of lot of love into this channel. Thank you yeah. guys so much for being here. And um, thank you for buying the kits. And if you have any questions, just let me know. And um, yeah, I'm going to work on something else too. I've got some other colors that I think will look really pretty together. Some oh, that'd be cool. Some grays and, and I think I'm going to, I'm going to do the three millimeter with the next one. That'll be hot. The three, oh, I love the three millimeter. I am addicted to tiny beads. I don't know why, because I just bought it. I bought like five strands of two millimeters this last week, but they are gemstones. Oh, because <laughs> I'm just going to make little tiny necklaces, like, you know, 15, 16 inches to hit me right here. So, wow. to, you know, for later. Wow. Look at you. Jim. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like little tiny, well, not all tiny things. Okay, I'm going to jail. Okay, I think it's time for me to get off. <laughs> She's had a long day. She had to also work with Neele and all kinds of stuff. I love you guys. I've missed you. Thank you for being here. I'm so, so grateful. And thank you for thank all you your for joining orders. us. And thank you, Joan. She's going to go into a laughing fit now. All right, we're going to go before we get in trouble, and we'll see you next week. And hopefully, it works out to where I got to talk to Pam. I got to talk and see if it works out. So, if it does, that'll be awesome. Okay, she's lost it. Are you going to take us off? <laughs> Let's wait for you to talk. Okay. <laughs>